This is my winter trapper hat pattern. It's very easy to draft with my origami method. I'm going to link the video on how to draft the pattern at the end of this video. I'm going to use this full sharing fabric. I'm going to add half inch seam allowance all around. Also, I'm going to fold this front flap area so that my hat doesn't have the front flaps. I'm going to cut out two pieces from this main pattern. I'm also rounding these corners because when you want to flip your pieces inside out, you have to clip really close into these corners to make it nice outside. That clipping weakens these areas, so whenever I can, I do rounded corners. I'm going to mark these points so that I know where I need to stop these darts. Now I cut out two pieces in the exact same shape. First, I'm going to sew this dart and this dart. Don't do the middle one yet. Now fold this piece in half and start sewing from the center back and all the way to the point where the dart ends. Make sure the seam allowances are open on these seams on both sides. So this is the basic hat shape and this piece is going to be the lining and on the other piece I want to put bunny ears between these seams so I'm going to cut out the bunny ears. I cut out two pieces from pink fleece fabric and two pieces from the full sharing fabric. Now I'm going to sew around the ears and then leave these edges open. I think I'm going to put this fleece side on the bottom because I think this smoother side is easier for the machine teeth to grab onto. It's easier to feed the machine with this fleece fabric on the bottom instead of this fluffy side. Now I want to put these ears between these darts. This is the main piece and this is the front. I want the pink size to be facing the front. So I want the ear to look like this when it's attached to the hat. So I'm going to do this right 
about in the middle of these darts then sandwich this this way when you sew the dart with the ear in between the ear is attached like this Actually, I'm just going to adjust these ears and move it right at the cut edge of this V because the stopping point for the dart is here. So if you sew it from here to here, the bunny ear is going to be sandwiched right in the middle of the dart seam. You want to go pretty slowly over these thick layers. Depending on your machine and your fabric, you might want to leave these ears out and attach them later by hand. Now I'm going to put the outer head and the lining together. I'm going to put right sides of these two layers together, then sew all around it, leaving about 3 inches in the back so that you can flip the head right side out later. Push the bunny ears inside so that you're not catching them in the seam. I'm going to clip into the seam allowance just a little to release the tension. Now I'm going to close this opening by hand using a ladder stitch. I think I'm also going to do some hand stitches right here to give more shapes to the ears. Like this. I'm also adding these safety clasps at the end of these ear flaps. If you have hard time starting a stitch because of too many layers, put some fabric with similar thickness behind the foot so that the foot is leveled. This helps the sewing machine to start nicely. I'm going to hand stitch these ears onto the head like this. I think I'm going to make a pleat like this just to add a little bit more interest. I'm placing the top of the ear about one inch 
down from the end of the dot. In the back of the ear, I think I'm going to sew without the pleat. So in this shape, it's completely by accident, but I think it gives very natural and realistic ear shape. Thank you. 